Welcome everybody to the new Tokyo fish market. That there in the distance is where the new tuna, the uh, Maguro auction, the tuna auction will be held from now on. And this here is where the wholesalers will be selling their fish. There's two different buildings. And for those of you who are coming here today, take note, it does not open officially for another two days on October 13th. That's when the market will officially open to the public. Hey, everybody. I'm here in Toyosu, live on location, and in this, in this episode, I'm going to give you an overview of the new Toyosu fish market. It's going to be pretty cool. I have a map. The most valuable thing in this live stream is actually not the information that I'm going to give you through this format, but actually in the description, there's a PDF with all the information from the city of Tokyo. Go into the description if you're watching this on a personal computer um, or on an iPhone. I think you can download the PDF and take a look at it. All that information is laid out pretty clearly. Um, all the zones, all the different buildings. So when you come here, you're pretty much oriented. And the purpose of this also is to help you orient yourself after you get off of subway, which is actually the Yuri Kamomi line from Toyosu is the direction you want to come. You can also come from Shimbashi, which is across the Rainbow Bridge, but it takes kind of a long time and it's a little bit expensive. So the best way uh, is to take the metro to the um, Yurakusho line to Toyosu and then switch to the Yuri Kamomi there. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, but once again, for everybody who's watching, it's open on the 13th. All right. So, orientation. Here we go. The Toyosu Market, right there listed. Um, this direction, after you come off it, which is to the right, you can see me in the reflection. This takes you to the Toyosu Market. You, you have a beautiful rooftop garden on the top of this, and I'm gonna show you on that PDF, but I just wanna give you an overview of what it looks like when you arrive. There's a beautiful rooftop garden. It's got grass on it. Um, it's very natural and gives you an amazing view across the bay to Tokyo Tower. That's part of the attraction of that. And inside there's a platform, kind of a museum. I think there's restaurants inside here and you can buy fish and uh, stuff like that. On, on the other side, is where all the selling goes on. You can see here there is an actual a fruit and vegetable market. You can observe the fruits and vegetables being sold here. There's also the fish wholesale market. They've done a really good job, I believe. I haven't been in there yet of um, showing you what is by giving you an observation gallery. So it used to be really painful to go see the uh, tuna auction at Skiji. Now here they've made it really, really easy and a lot more comfortable for everybody. So let's walk in that direction first because everybody loves that tuna auction. I know I did when I was there, except for the fact that I had to go there at 2.30 in the morning and wait. Um, but it was still pretty, it's still a pretty, a pretty good experience for those people who are watching. I can't see the um, live chat for some reason. Very weird. YouTube updates the app all the time and when you do, Sometimes there's bugs, so I cannot see any um, chats right now. So I'm gonna actually stop the app just for a second and be right back in a second. All right, here we go. Hey guys, I'm back. So I can see the chats now, I'm sorry about that. Um, I wanna make sure if you guys ask a question, I will be able to respond. Let's see here, Mr. Swastik Das is Toyosu and like Skiji did a lot of the outer stores move. The outer stores are gonna be the same. This is an awesome question to start off. The outer stores are gonna be the same. They're there, they're not moving anywhere. They're gonna be there and Skiji has a long history of being a place for sushi and it's right near Ginza. Those shops aren't moving here. Why would they move here? Because all the business is over there. It's kind of a, a hassle to come out here, all right? There's a more people over there. So it's gonna be, it's, they're gonna stay there and maybe they're gonna open up a branch in Toyosu. Toyosu is in this direction, two stops on the Yuri Kamome line, and at that place, there's a ton of other restaurants as well as a shopping mall, lots of things for kids to do. There you go. There's the, there's the new market. It looks kind of futuristic. What do you think? This is the building, there's offices in there. I'm gonna pan down and we're gonna go down to the street view, street view, but we cannot actually go inside. You can see the market officially opens on the 13th and there's a sign right in the middle that says no entry. So it's off limits for us for now, but I think it's gonna change soon. 
Yeah. So the market opens up on the 13th. 13日ですね。今日じゃない。So you, you, you can't go in here till the 13th, but if you do come on the 13th, you'll be able to go in. So this is just a quick overview. That's what it looks like. On the other side, it's really clean. It's very orderly. It looks like Holland. <laughs> I don't know, just like Al Almiera, which is a, a city in Holland. Everything is just perfect. And that's what I, I get the feeling right here. It's just really beautiful. It's really beautiful. All right. Now let's take a look at this map. This is the PDF that I have in the description, and this will help you with everything on your trip here to Tsukiji Market.、Um, I'm going to put this right here, and we're going to take a look at it. Uh, maybe the sun's better over here. Okay, take a look on the ground here. So, this is the PDF that, that I downloaded and printed out for you.、Uh, this is the Toyosu Market's Visitor's Guide. It's not, since you can't go in, you don't have access to it except by PDF. And you can see this is where we entered here. And I took you this way. And we're, we're actually right now between the buildings. Now, they've kind of separated it in, into three main buildings here. This is the fruit and vegetable building, which is that way. Uh, on the left side that I showed you is where they do the fish, the tuna auctions. And you can see here on the map, they clearly wrote that in here. You can view the tuna auction up close. That's so cool. I can make you view this up close too. Check this out. Oh, cool. So we got some people、uh, writing in that they've already printed this out. Awesome.、Um, this is the other building, Block 6. And you get a, a panoramic view of the city. And you can see up on the top there, beautiful, beautiful garden. With grass up there, it's very green and, and a lovely view of the city. But you don't actually have to go up there to get that nice view. I'm g o i n g to show you a place where you can do that without having to, to enter the building.、Um, and the station is the Yuri Kamomi Line Shijo Mai Station, which is the new station. 160 yen from Toyosu, or about $1.75. It's not too much. And you have a choice, you know? Oh, here come some fishy people. Whoa. The fish people are here. And you have a choice. You can walk from Toyosu Station, it's 20 minutes, all right? Or you can take the Yuri Kamomi line, and it's one minute. Like, literally, that's the entrance to the Yuri Kamomi line. This is where we entered to get here, right there, this building here.、Um, the Yuri Kamomi line is a monorail, a driverless monorail, so it's, it's kind of the future. It's pretty cool. But you can see the, the, they're still kind of getting used to the traffic. Getting used to the flow of people. And lots of people, even locals here, have questions about the market and they're asking、um, the security guards, can we walk here? Is this, is this open here? And, and even for locals, there, there's a little bit of confusion. But not a lot of people live out here. Apparently, there's some TV networks here making uh, uh, news reports. But we're here first live, baby. Yeah. All right. Across the bay here, you have a wonderful view of. Right there is the Olympic Village. So I showed this to you in February in another video, but you can see it right now. It's really starting to come together,、um, the Olympic Village. And, and the day before yesterday, you see this bridge right here? They had the turrets, the.、Um, Um, carts that, that are all over the old Skiji Market. They came in like a convoy from Skiji Market over this bridge to the new market, and the police let them on the road just at a certain time in the middle of the night. And you can see online some of the videos of the turrets, the carts making their way across to the new market, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, but once again, you, we cannot actually get in, we cannot actually get into the market、um, until, until the day after tomorrow. But that doesn't mean I, I, I can't show you guys stuff because I got a ton of stuff to show you. And there's, there's a TV company. They're filming. They're filming me now. Haha. Tadabi Tokyo. All right, I'm going down now. And this is because I know exactly where I'm taking you. And we're gonna give you I'm going to give you some more information. Going to miss hearing trails to Skiji. That's right, that's an NHK show. I'm not actually sad about Skiji anymore. I was for about, for about two days that it was leaving and gone.
I, but we've been expecting this for a long time and I'm gonna give you some history right now. So, about 20 years ago in 1997, 1998, the, the city of Tokyo was contemplating renovations to Tsukiji Market and they wanted to see if, if they, they had to move sites or if they could just fix up the existing market. And uh, after a couple of years, in 2001, it was decided that they wanted to renovate because through their research, they just could not make it work. Tsukiji was so old, so run down, so difficult to um, renovate, the cost would have been so high and they didn't know where to, to put the displaced market while they were doing the renovations. It just would have been a disaster. The easiest thing for them to do would be to move it to the new lands. And 20 years ago, that was this. There was nothing really here except for a gas processing plant. I remember, um, uh, the first, this, not the first time I came to Tokyo because I didn't come here, but I think it was the second or the third time and going to Odaiba and then seeing like this area was nothing, just kind of settling, right? Toyosu was not, was, it was just like new land. Um, and it was in 2001 that the city of Tokyo decided to um, build this area up for the new fish market. But that was about as far as that they went. They didn't start building it until, um, until 2008 or 2009 and there's a reason for that it was i guess the the tokyo gas the story goes that the tokyo gas um had a plant here and it was in 2000 and i guess it ended in 2006 or 2007 and they cleaned up the area and they did their own tests and they said the ground was fine and then 2008 the tokyo government said hey we're gonna take our own tests and thank goodness for that because they discovered that there were a ton of contaminants in the in the soil and what had happened was um, they weren't sure if they, what they were gonna do but it was the new mayor uh, mayor Koike who made the final decision which is very unpopular with the business leaders you don't want to make the business leaders in Tokyo mad she she decided that she would delay the Tokyo the move to, to Toyosu market indefinitely until the area was completely clean. I mean, it's a no-brainer, right? You would want that to be for fish, a fish market and produce market. You'd want the cleanest place possible. But it took a brave politician to do that and she won a lot of trust with the public after that. She's very popular. Um, yeah, and I, I like her. I like her. She's, she's a very uh, strong mayor, good balance between the business leaders and the people. So she's a populist. Um, so the market was delayed and we didn't know for how long. Now she, I guess the information on the contamination was, was done 10 years ago, but she didn't, but the market was delayed just a couple of years ago. So that means they were going to move here and it wasn't finished with the decontamination process, which was going to, which took a decade to do. All right. Talk about, oh, you know, time overruns and stuff. So now you have two years. This was supposed to open two years ago. All the business, all the businesses had ordered refrigerators, new equipment for this market right here. And they couldn't do anything with it. So what do you do for two years? So that's why there's a lot of not happy people. Um, but I think it was the right move. And I think it gave Tsukiji another two years to kind of figure out what they wanted to do with stuff. Because I don't think it hit a lot of people until maybe last week. <laughs> like what's gonna happen with the neighborhood? What are they going to do with the ninja rats that are there? Um, so now it's 2018. It's, it's uh, October, 10, uh, October 11th. In two days, this will be open to the public and you're going to see a ton of people making their way. All the media in the world is going to be here. Um, and it's an exciting time because it took such a long time. It took such a long time for this to culminate into um, what you see up there, Tsukiji, uh, Toyosu Market. So there you go, that's the end of Tsukiji and the start of Toyosu Market. Boom. But there's a lot more to this than just this fish market, which is, we cannot go into yet because it's off limits. Even though I kind of tried, but they said no. <laughs> I like, said, no, 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 give us a call in two days. There are some people going in there, but there are other people. You can see them right there. There's the entrance to the auction and the fish site and all the services. 
Now, why do they need, this is the question now, why do they need to build a new market? I get this question a lot after walking through the Skiji market a couple of days ago. Um, why, and you can see that video, um, which is, shows the moving of Skiji back uh, um, last week. They needed to move markets. It just makes sense to do that, all right? All the markets now are indoors. So that means it can be temperature controlled and that means that it's probably cleaner. It doesn't, it, the, the food won't get spoiled as fast. The, spo the food, the food, the supply chain will be more protected. This is a, a big city. You don't know what's gonna be happening outside. So things are kind of blocked off. Well, it's, it's indoors. So things are, are, um, are better controlled when everything is indoor. Like if, if this was a baseball stadium, this is a dome. <laughs> And the old Skiji would have been an open open field because Skiji was was pretty much windowless. It was just kind of like a market that you would have seen last century. And these days, you, you know, everything is indoors and domed, and and everything is controlled. Uh, this is the entrance to the market, and this is where a lot of trucks they made a, they did an extremely good job with with these roadways. You see here, they're wide for a lot of these trucks that are coming in with fish, coming from Aomori, coming from up north in Tohoku, coming from down south, loads and loads of trucks, and they've done a great job with it. I cannot stress enough, when you're given all this time, you're gonna do a good job. And Tokyo's done a really good job. It's just so wide. On the right side, you see Toyosu Market, the auction, and on the left side, the market where they sell. And they said there's going to be a museum in there as well. Uh, Deborah, going to miss hearing that. Thank you, Deborah, for that. I appreciate it. They don't, they don't. Hold on a second. They don't sell fish at Skiji now, but they still sell food. That's an imp that's important to know. Oh, I was going to go this way. Um, can I walk to the river this way? I think I can. That's really important. I'm going to go underneath the market. That's really important to know. Um, the Skiji Outer Market, I've already said this a dozen times, but I'm going to say it a hundred more times. The Skiji Outer Market is still open for business and they sell awesome sushi. I was there um, two days ago with um, another YouTuber making a show at one of the sushi shops. And uh, you're going to find some really good places. Tosta. 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 え、関係者。え、関係者。あ、あの、顔まで行けないの。ダメ。ダメだって。もう見ない歩いてる。あ、邪魔なってんだろうね。もう見えない。だから邪魔。I don't know. Um, fishermen are not the happiest people in the world. <laughs> I said, he's talking to me. How am I supposed to see where I'm going? Where is he? Alright, maybe he's gonna call the cops on me or something. What am I supposed to do? So I can't walk to the river, but everyone's walking here. Alright, let me figure out what the heck he's talking about. I'm gonna go to the Kanari Center. What's he so angry about? So I'm gonna go talk to the Kanri Center and ask them what I can do and what I can't go. Uh, we don't, I don't know. So I'm gonna ask the uh, main gate. And if they say no, you say no. So there you go, this is the main gate. And I'm gonna ask them, but he doesn't have to be so angry. Love and peace. Okay, hold on a second. We're gonna figure out what just happened. わからない。看板がないから。看板がないから。わからない。だから教えてやってんの。なんで怒ってる。だから、いや。
。私日本語話してる。あ、わかった。あの、だから教えてやってるの。看板がないから。ありがとう。いや、看板がないし、警備員の人も。はい。警備員の人も。うまく説明できてないから、だから俺が教えてるの。それは大事ですよ。教えて、私みんなに教えるよ。すごい大,大,大事ですよ。だからちゃんと教えて送らないで。<笑>ちょっと日本語わかると思ってなかったか。そうそうそう。ごめんなさいね。本当に。でも一応そういうことだから。そうそう。ここまでいけない。わかりました。テーブルを持って遊んでんだろ。あ、そうですか。ああ。ああ。じゃあ大丈夫ですよわかる。写真もダメなんですよ。あ、なるほど。すいません。すいません。本当ですか。立派な方ここって。あ。業者専用なので、はい、はい、大変ですね。申し訳ないんですが、あ、わかりました。すみません、はい。ありがとうございます。Okay, so we cannot walk this direction, and you cannot actually take pictures apparently, but you can hear. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy was so angry. That that guy was so angry at me. So I got a little bit angry too, but. I told him, look, man, if you just tell me, I can tell you guys not to go, not to go、um, into that area, right? I mean, look, man. He told me that, he, I know he was crazy, right? But he told me that there were skateboarders that were going through there, and it was making him really mad. And,、uh, you know, and as soon as I started talking Japanese to him and telling him, look, I just want to understand, there's no sign here. I don't know where I can go and can't go, and the security guards. Nobody stopped me. Just some guy, and you don't look like a security guard. So, you know what's the deal? But once you just explain it to him, like, okay, I understand. Just you have to understand that if you don't have signs, and you, no one is gonna know where to go, you know. And the market actually is officially opened, like opened today, but not to the public until the day after tomorrow. This is information they gotta tell you. The city of Tokyo. You know, and there are lots of tourists who are at the station. They saw the sign that the opening day was the day after tomorrow, and there's a lot of not so happy people. So the 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 opening to the Skiji Market has not been perfect. Has not been perfect. But I'm just glad that you know we we can sort of figure that out and then make it work out a little bit better. So if you come here tomorrow, be careful where you walk. <laughs> You're gonna get a get really angry guy at you,、um, but we're okay. So I'm walking now to the top of the bridge, and I,、uh, there's some places that I wanted to show you.、Um, this being one of them, I wanted to get off of this road. It's the area around Skiji Market that has changed the most, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So let me get away from here where there's a bunch of crazy people. Like he's taking pictures, no one's really. Oh, did you get in trouble too? Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't let you buy over there. Yeah, he was really angry. He, but it's not. It's not Wait, our the fault. Guy, the 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 guy, And we can't get in. Luckily, though, they they got some guy that was pretty nice. He got his Google Translate、yeah. out. Oh, he was angry at me. Really? But I could speak Japanese, so I could、oh. I sorted it out with them. I said, "Calm down, calm down,、yeah. dude." And then you know he just said, "Look, you can't go in there." We said, "We gotta break a sign." Yeah. Right. Like we don't like. I mean, it's our it's our fault. We can't speak Japanese, but yeah. We're just trying to meet up with our friends. So like, What are you guys doing here? Just on a skate trip. Okay. Yeah, it's our first international trip. Cool. Well, we got about a thousand people watching. You guys want to say hi? Yeah, from all over. Yeah, from all over the place. Okay. Yeah, this is a good place to skate up here on the on this riverside. Yeah. And you're just you're just trying to get over there. You don't get care about the market at all. Yeah, that's that's where I'm trying to go now too.、Yeah. Get get away from the crazy people. Dude, we've been dealing with like craziness all day. Like, cause we we're supposed to have a tour guide, but they couldn't meet up today. Ah.、Oh. We're supposed to have a translator too. Okay. So,、uh, yeah, it, just, it fell through for because it's our first day. We got in at, like five in the morning. All right. We flew from LA and.、Uh, wow. Yeah, so do, we're do you guys make the most of it? You know. Do you guys get a YouTube channel or something? Um, it's called Sovereign Skateboards. Sovereign Skateboard、yeah. guys. What are you vlogging? 
Yeah, YouTube live. YouTube live? Yeah. What do you do? What do, you do? Uh, I got a channel called Only in Japan, and I introduce uh, Japan to people outside of oh, here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, today I'm introducing the market, but there's, uh, you know, yeah. a lot of uncertainty, let's just say. But so you make, you make your own now. videos and people watch it. You don't actually show them in person, right? What do you mean? Like you introduce places in Japan to people that have never been hey, you say Japan. You say where it is, what, it, but, what it's near. Yeah, so you do it online. You're not like a tour guide. No, no, tour guide. No, you're like I actually report for the TV station here, but YouTube's much more profitable. Oh, awesome. Where are you from originally? Uh, New York, New Jersey, Virginia, Ohio. Oh, sweet. I'm from Massachusetts. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Connecticut. Right. Oh, cool. My brother lives in Vermont. <laughs> from Lyme? Your brother? What? Yeah, he lives in Vermont. Oh, he lives in Vermont. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, you have like two hours from Vermont? Yeah. And who we are on the other side of the Pacific. <laughs> All right, here it is. So this is what I wanted to show you on the other side of Skiji Market, for those of you who are still here, which is 850 of you now. A beautiful view of Rainbow Bridge. It's kind of hazy out here. But if you want to put the market behind you and you, you come out here with a family, there's a playground. It's really nice. Um, those. Those are the skateboarders that got in trouble. So because of what they were doing, the security guy was angry at us. And I was like, no. But they're not, they're not bad people. They just didn't know. Yeah. So I'm going to take you down here. I'm going to show you why. Maybe you don't want to, you just want to walk here. Maybe you just want to walk here. All right. Now that's Odaiba there. I've taken you there before uh, over the Rainbow Bridge. And you can take a look at the uh, um, beach there. They have a man-made beach. It's a red light. But the skaters, skateboarders are going to the playground. Very cool. Yeah, there's a ton of skateboarders here. This is one of the, this, this area here that I'm gonna take you to before we end the live stream is famous for having a ton of skateboarders. Um, all right, we're almost here. This is also the, the, the ramp. Do you guys can see this here? This is a ramp that goes, brings the tuna to the tuna auction. So it's just so clean and so well done um, that I'm, I'm kind of happy that, that Skiji, uh, Skiji Market is closed and this is open because Skiji Market was kind of dangerous. If there was an earthquake, a big one, you don't know what would be, happen there because a lot, of the, a lot of the stuff at Skiji Market was just built in the 1930s, right? So... We're much better off having having everything done, redone, like this building right here. And this is the fish market. I'm looking back now at the fish market, and you can see the trucks bringing in loads of fish from and uh, other construction st stuff. They're still doing some construction in the distance. And now you guys can get a, a first look at Toyosu. Just kind of take it all in. And for the next five minutes, we're going to walk over to the... Uh, um, to the riverside. This is Toyosu Gururi Park, and I introduced this park in a live stream at night a couple of days ago. Uh, sorry, a, a couple of months ago. Toyosu Gururi Park. It's really nice. And if you, if you keep on going here, there, there's a lookout where you just get a, one of the most amazing night views. This, I believe, is the most beautiful night view in all of Tokyo. And that's, that's kind of like a big statement. Just putting it out there. All right, I, I came running here yesterday and I love to run in this area. It's one of the most um, um, relaxed places because there's no traffic lights running around this area of Tokyo. Now you can see all of the, uh, all of the um, ramps of the new fish market here. Hey there, Gem Defensor. Cool live cat broadcast with real action. Yeah, real action. Tell me about it. Me and my sister and our families are going to Kyoto and Osaka at the end of this month. Take care, John. Lots of crazy people. <laughs> yeah, Tsukiji is known for the crazy people. You know, if you look back at the live stream that I did a few, like uh, last week, the, the guy who was selling all of his goods for, because the market was closing was, everyone was calling him Crazy Boy. <laughs> I think that was his cousin. <laughs> 
Oh, they're the skaters. Check it out. Hold on a second. There we go. Crazy boy. You see them? Check it out. That's a pretty neat scene. This is one of the most beautiful places uh, for walking around, for skateboarding, for running. It is very, very jogger friendly. Tokyo as a city is okay. I'd say it's, it's a lot better than New York and a lot of other places, um, but it's not ideal. However, this area and the newer parts of the city, especially on the bay, are made for running. And I'm gonna take you down there. If you give me just one more minute, I'm gonna take you down there and show you. In fact, if you come at night on many nights during, uh, on many nights every month, I come running through here. You'll be able to catch me uh, going for a run. Because there's no traffic lights. I also go the other direction. It's kind of a far run. I, I come out here especially for long runs because you don't wanna, you don't wanna meet any traffic lights or anything like that. It's kind of hazy today, a little bit humid, but it's not hot, hot. Not like the summer. All right, you can see this land is still settling and they're not building anything on it yet. But I think if you give it, give it some time, this might turn into something. So you're seeing it here first, this is history. When you come to Japan, <laughs> there might be something built here <laughs> on the left side, but right now it's just um, uh, grass that's settling and nobody can go in there. Um, it's actually very, very easy to get here from Toyosu Station. There's two ways to get here from the city. And I just wanna go over a little bit about the, this um, new Toyosu Market. For those of you who are joining us right now, um, if you want to get to Toyosu Market, which is the new Tsukiji, do not come tomorrow. Come the day after tomorrow on October 13th. That's when it opens. You can come from Toyosu, which is probably the easiest access point. You can take the Yurakucho line, which runs through Ginza Ichome, Yurakucho, Ichigaya. It goes all the way to uh, Ikebukuro. You can take that all the way to Toyosu, which is almost the last stop. And it's just $1.75 on the Yurikamome line or the monorail this driverless train, which is so cool, two stops, and you're here. All right, this is the new, new fish market behind me. You see that? And uh, if you don't want to pay $1.75 and you just want to walk it, it takes 20 minutes from Toyosu, and you're here at the fish market. And I highly recommend walking along the bay because you're going to get one of the most stunning open views of the city of Tokyo. And I'm going to pan now because out right in front is the Olympic Village being built. Hey there, from Paraguay. Hey, Ale. Hey, Chris Hansen's in the house. Check it out. That's the Olympic Village being built. They've made a lot of progress. Check it out. So if you're an Olympic athlete watching this, this could be where you'll be staying in Tokyo. Very cool. I'm not, and no, you cannot stay in one of those cranes. They're not going to be here when you come. Well, I hope not. There you guys are! Woo! There they go. Banned at Toyosu Fish Market, <laughs> but, but we love them, that free spirit of skateboarding. Very awesome. They're from California, they're here just for a skateboard tour. That's cool. I, I'm, I'm kind of digging the fact that all these people are coming from all over the world. Skateboarders are coming here because skateboarding is, has become an Olympic event for 2020. How cool is that? And the uh, uh, skateboarding events will be held here, not that far away. They're building a skateboard um, venue, so yeah. That's kind of a big deal for skateboarders all around the world. And why we want more skateboarders to come here. So Toyosu crazy people, Toyosu fish market crazy people, please don't be hard on the skateboarders. We want them to come here. We want them to have a good time. Beautiful view, isn't it? So that's the Rainbow Bridge. And what looks like space boat, but is not. Lots and lots of uh, boat tours and cruises that go through Tokyo Bay here. 
All right, another reason that they built the, why did they pick Toyosu? Some people were asking me, I'm not getting a lot of questions um, about this, but why did they pick Toyosu? Why did they pick this area? You can see right there at the end where this um, tower is, there's a helicopter going right over me. This tower separates the Samita River and the backside of it, which is um, where bigger boats can go, okay? Now, one of the reasons why Toyosu was picked is because but bigger boats can come here and they can't go to Tsukiji. Almost all of the fish were coming by truck to Tsukiji, like big, big trucks. And now they can come by boat almost directly to Tsukiji. And I'm gonna take you down there now to um, the landing pier. This is Toyosu uh, Gururi Park, or Toyosu Gururi Koen. Uh, it's a beautiful place, and you can check out how, how nice is this. This brick goes entirely around this island, and if you want to go running from Toyosu, you can start at the station, run all the way around this island. It's about seven kilometers, six and a half or seven kilometers, and it's a beautiful, no traffic light run. So this overpass here, do you see right there? That's where cars can come and unload fish from boats and go directly to the fish market. And no boats have, have done that yet, and I don't know when that's gonna start, but one of the reasons why they, can, uh, they built it here is because they can do that, that option exists. Kachidoki Bridge, um, it was closed, I guess, like three or four decades ago. It used to be a drawbridge that could go up and, up and down and allow bigger ships to go through into the Sumida River, but the Sumida River no longer takes um, traffic of, of bigger boats. It's very limited. So we're walking down now underneath where um, trucks can unload fish to go to the market, the new market. And if you see on the top, I opened this up by giving you some information. I'm gonna show you once again, for everybody who's still watching, a little bit of the layout. There's a PDF file attached to the description of this video, and I highly recommend that you click on it. You don't have to download it, or, or uh, I guess you do have to download it in order to view it, but you don't have to print it out. But just take a look at it if you're interested in coming to the new fish market. It lays out all the information, and it's hard to find. Um, Irv Irvon writes in here, I'll be there for a week from October 22nd. Hope to see you. I'll be around. I'll be around. Now, on the top of this, the, the fish market where you can buy the fish, you see where the, the fence is there? You won't be able to get up there till the 13th for another couple of days, but it's a beautiful garden up there with really spacious views. But you don't have to go up there. You can get the same views from right here. Just look this way. It's so flat looking over the river that you don't need to be elevated to see anything more. You can rent bicycles in Toyosu and also ride around here. It's really nice and very family friendly. Loads of playgrounds. This bridge is the new bridge that I showed you. The turret um, carts from Skiji that would buzz around made a a convoy from the market to the new market from Skiji to Toyosu a couple of days ago and that made international news watching those carts those uh, carts that you stand on drive across Tokyo because they didn't you need you can't they're not supposed to leave the actual market outside of the outer market but that day it was a convoy which is pretty cool now this is a landing for ships you can see this on this side it's closed off to people but this is all a landing where ships can dock bring the fish directly to the market, and then the trucks, or maybe the, they even have hand carts, they can push it up here. This is so cool. And it goes straight into the market. And it's so much more convenient than Skiji. Now Skiji did have, Skiji is, was literally up against the river, but it was built for like the 1930s. Not the same kind of boats, not the same kind of traffic that we have these days. So it just made sense to move it. And now that, now that we have, it's, uh, it's, it makes sense now. So I'm gonna walk around the market some more and then take you back to Toyosu Station. Um, let, me give you, let me give you an idea of what, this is the PDF file that's uh, included in the uh, video description. All right, this might, be, this might be a little bit better than before. All right, here we go. 
So this is the Toyosu Markets Visitor Course. Now I, I arrived by the Yuri Kamome line right here at the Yuri Kamome Shijo Mai Station. Shijo Mai Station. S H I J O M A E, and that's accessible by um, Toyosu right there. And uh, when you exit the station, you can go left or right. If you're going to the tuna auction, you want to go to block number seven, which is on the left side. This is the Fisheries Wholesale Market Building is what they call it in English. And even on the map it says here you can view the tuna auction up close. Now if you make a right, you can go to the building that's right in front of me right now. Uh, this is where you get panoramic views of the Rinkai area and Tokyo Tower. And you can see on the top of it those strips of green, which is grass and, and uh, uh, plant life. Inside this building is also a museum. Apparently they have um, a turret forklifts on exhibit there as well as some other places this is where local fishmongers and sushi restaurants come to purchase their fish this is where you would, all the sushi shops are going to be buying their fish this is where all of the fish is auctioned all right this is where um, stuff is sold in bulk in auctions in here and you can you can see see this with an observation deck and the observation deck looks like this so do you see this building here what do I got on my finger now? You, you see this right here? It was just a shine. This is where uh, tourists can can stand, separated from what's happening inside the market. This keeps you safe, but it also it's it's not as cold because I got to tell you the auction was pretty cold with all those blocks of flash frozen tuna out there. Here's the visitors hall. It's just so beautiful and modern, and it, it does. I do. I will miss the personality and character of the old market, but it had to be renovated. It it just had to be redone. Some of the other stuff that's here, if you go behind the, the market station, there's a fish and vegetable building, and I, I believe anybody can go in there. So if you want to buy some vegetables in bulk, <laughs> you might be able to get a better deal there, which is pretty cool. And I've, I, I've run around this island. All around this island is a beautiful, beautiful brick sidewalk, and you can walk around it. If you walk it, it takes you a little bit less than an hour or about... Um, about 20 minutes running Sorry longer than that. I think it's about six kilometers depends how fast you're going I guess Up on the top is a is a uh, Up on the top of it if you want to get off of the walkway are a lot of playgrounds a lot of green areas places where you can sit and relax my image is That me and my wife we ride we ride bicycles down here and have a picnic. I don't know like this is we, we, we ride our bicycles, we park them here, and then we'll just sit in the grass looking over the river and the harbor, um, eating a bento or something. It's pretty cool. That behind us is the fish market. So I guess you can walk straight from here to walk up the steps and get to the top observation deck. And I, maybe it's gonna be open 24 hours a day, I'm not really sure. And that's the thing right now. I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked at the city of Tokyo. We started this about 30 minutes ago. Um, the city of Tokyo really is not doing a good job with the traffic patterns here. And we had some guy who's not even a hired security guard angry at us. And actually, they were, he was angry at the skateboarders actually, not with me. But how do we know where we can walk and not walk without a sign? So, uh, Mayor Koike, if you're watching this, would you do us a favor and <laughs> have one of their assistants make a sign in English for all the world media to come up here and say, yeah, maybe not come this way. All right, let's hike up this mountainside. Okay. So there is a... So I guess cars are, I guess they're on patrol here, but you get a really beautiful panoramic view of the city of Tokyo. Um, Boris writes in that he's, uh, sorry, not Boris, but uh, Komainu writes in about how many benches there are. There are a ton of benches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they, they're all around. And I, I'm guessing that they see a lot of people coming here now that the market is open but to be, to be honest with you we don't know what 
we don't know how many tourists are actually going to be coming here. We don't know if people are going to still be interested in the tuna auction. I'll be honest with you, it was pretty cool at Skiji, but that was because it was Skiji here. It's so sanitized, the auction. It's in an observation like platform, which is made for tourists, which is cool and keeps us safe, but it loses that appeal of feeling like you're inside of the market watching it happen. You're now separated with glass and you can't go out there onto the floor. So I'm not sure how popular it's gonna be because it loses its authenticity a little bit, but it's still not bad, you know? I mean, it's, it's just, this place is just far enough away. You can see there's the city of Tokyo there. This place is just far away enough to make it a slightly annoying to most people. Oh look, and now you, now you can see from here. Hey, thank you Scooby Snacks from Sweden. So you can see sort of inside of the market here. This is where all the sushi chefs are now. So uh, Jiro Sushi, Sukiyabashi Jiro is gonna have to come here on his bicycle. And he's gonna have to buy a sushi from here because this is where the market is. And it's a little bit further, it's a little bit further than Skiji Market for him. Like 1.7 kilometers further. But he's in pretty good shape for being like almost 100. Right? If, if you're coming from Tsukiji Market, you're gonna be taking this bridge. You can walk from Ginza, it's two kilometers to walk from Ginza to this area, but it's, once again, it's, it's far enough that it's just annoying. That's St. Luke's Hospital right there, the two buildings, that's uh, Tsukiji area. Oh no, that's not St. Luke's. St. Luke's is, is the next building after that. Okay, I still have, I'm still a little bit disoriented with the, what I see because the city is changing so fast. You can see Tokyo Tower. You can see it. Um, right now, right there. It's pretty hazy on most nights. It's a very clear view. And if you walk a little bit this way, um, it's even, it's, you get the entire city skyline. It is a little cloudy. There's no shuttle bus because we have, we have a monorail. I don't think, we, I, I don't know. Um, if, you, if, if you're in Ginza, there is a bus. All right, there is a bus that comes here from Tokyo Station that will come directly here. I believe it's bus 45 or 47. I'm not sure. I, the bus system here is in Tokyo is like not a lot of, of, of people know about it unless you have to take the bus. Uh, but from the Yaisu exit of Tokyo Station, there's a bus that goes to Big Sight. It, it'll say Big Sight. Big Sight is, this is in the direction of Big Sight and then you can get to uh, the Tsukiji Market and get off on the way, I believe. Or at least you get a lot closer. But there's no shuttle bus. Um, you gotta go to Toyosu or to Shimbashi. And if you go to Shimbashi, which is across the Rainbow Bridge, it's kind of a long ride because you gotta go all the way around the island. The best thing to do would be to take the metro to Toyosu, the Yurakucho line switch to the Yurikamome at the end of the Yurikamome line and then take and either walk it like I'm doing right now, which is a beautiful walk, or, you know, take the Yuri, take, take it two stops for $1.75. Now this is where, this is where I got in trouble. Do you guys see this uh, road? This is where the, the fish dude on the cart got angry at me and told me that I cannot come down this road yet. Now it's still closed to the public. It'll be open the day after tomorrow. But right now, there's no sign saying not to go here. In fact, listen, look guys, there's a bus stop. Do you see that? Those two green signs, that's a bus stop. So there's gotta be a bus that goes through here that we don't know about yet. So the bus is gonna be making a stop here, right there, do you see them? Bus stop. So check, I'll, I'll be here again uh, in the next couple of weeks to take you through the market. I'm gonna see if I can get, a, get some access. But right now, they're so busy with the opening that it's hard to get in touch with anybody. I usually try to call ahead and get permission to do stuff like this, but today we're just walking through here. And there are people that are just walking down here, so it's very confusing. That's interesting. Tsukiji never had a parking garage. This here is a parking garage right there. 
and then on the right is the market. And you can see, you can kind of see inside, there's some pallets and stuff. I can see the turrets, turret forklifts. Kind of can hear them. But the building is so new, it, it almost seems out of place to me. Yeah, John versus the fisherman. <laughs> that, was, that was quite crazy. So Mr. Swastik uh, Das uh, writes in here, what are the rules regarding pedestrian ta traffic? It seems complicated. That's a fair question, and I think, I think right now it's, it's kind of hard to figure it out. But there seems to be a path, and if you download the PDF that's in the description, um, you can kind of see that. This is the park here, so we're right here. Hey, Tuotaku, I missed the excitement. Calm yourself, by sake, for sake. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more calm now, but I was angry at him being angry at me because that's just a natural human reaction. So this is the where we started here. So what we've done is we've walked like this and then through here and then to the park and then around to here. So we've walked quite a ways uh, in this video. Uh, this is the building with the rooftop garden that I showed you before. Uh, it's it's kind of a long walk to go from here back to Toyosu Station, but this is this is what you have. All, all the stuff that you need for the fish market is is here. This is where they auction it, and this is where they sell it. This is where all the sushi chefs will be coming to buy their sushi, and this is where they're going to be bidding for for the qu quantity of the fish. So all the fish, whether it's fugu, whether it's uh, um, you know uh, bluefin tuna or Honmago, whatever it is, they're going to be auctioning it here. Up here, just north of it is the, um, the, hold on a second, the fruits and vegetable market. It doesn't say fruits and vegetable. There's something going on over there. And then uh, over here, there used to be, I guess it's still here, but this is the, the gas museum. They're not very popular because they're the ones who contaminated the land, <laughs> but they're there. And then Toyosu's on the top. Why are they murdering a whale? I don't know. It's just a drill that sounds very painful. It's a drill. It's a drill. All right, I'm walking back to Toyosu. We're going to end this live stream. I'm very happy to take your questions. I've been researching this, um, going through the history. I kind of went through the history in the first 10 minutes of the live stream. But if you have any questions, I'm happy to help you. So when you do come to the market, you're going to be prepared. That's what we are watching for. Uh, monorail. It's it's the Yudi Kamomi line. Um, it is like a monorail. I don't know. It's it's like a a, a driverless train that that um, goes through uh, Odaiba, which is the new new lands of Tokyo, the reclaimed land. Have you tried Fugu? Yes, and it's not bad. Gordon Flynn writes in, thanks for the map. I'll use it next weekend when I'm back in Tokyo. I had to use a VPN to send a super chat. Whoa, my card is registered to the UK postcard. That's weird. So you, so Gordon, you have to be, you have to be, I didn't know that. You had to be in your country in order to send a super chat. But if you travel, you can't do that. I didn't know that. Thanks. Thanks for that information. I'm glad that the map's going to be useful. The, the, the city of Tokyo has not done a very good job of promoting this move. They said that the market opens on the 11th, but they didn't say that the market opens to the public on the 13th. There's no signs to help you figure out. If you do come on the 11th where you can and cannot walk, there's angry fishermen who, who are very good at yelling at people and making you feel like, you know, a fish. <laughs> and then there's, there's a lot of problems with um, um, just kind of understanding on the web. There's some, a lot of um, websites like tokyocheapo.com which has a really good guide. They're, they're, this, that's my friend's uh, company that, that does that stuff, Greg. Um, they have some good information on there, but not even they have the map that's in the PDF that I've added into the description. The city of Tokyo has made these maps, and I guess they'd rather give it out by paper to people who come here instead of by PDF, which is what you should have. That map is very useful. Um, without it, I think I would not have known what this market is all about. There's, not, there's just not been enough information on it. Um, John needs to practice his angry Japanese. I totally do. I need to have some more venom in my Japanese, but it's hard because nice guys don't have venomous anything in Japan. You just kind of speak politely. That guy was venomous. He had some pretty snakish Japanese going on there. 
I, I bet you he's a nice guy. I bet you, you know what? These kinds of situations, I, I, you, you get into a fight and then after, after like 30 minutes, you, you go and you, you, you have a beer and you eat some sushi or something, right? So I'm not, I don't see that. I, I, I can understand why he's angry because there's all these people. Yeah, and you don't know if, if he could be attached to some syndicate. <laughs> I don't think so. But look, you know, people, he, he's just angry because a lot of people that look like me, foreigners, are going through there. But it's not even the foreigner's fault. There's just no sign. But he's frustrated because he can't control it and the guards aren't controlling it either. And accidents could happen. Um, uh, pedestrian could get struck by a uh, forklift or something right now. There's so much uncertainty that they just don't want you to do that, but they didn't tell you. So I could see why he's frustrated. And I could see why the skateboarders were frustrated. And I was frustrated for two minutes. This just sort of happens. He was angry at the skater foreigners, but they're actually nice guys, so it happens, you know. Um, misunderstandings lead to frustrations, which leads to wars and battles. And um, In the center of the screen, that's why you have to have cool heads prevail. In the center of the screen is Toyosu Lalaport. This is where um, there's a, a neat shopping mall with kids Zania inside of it. So if you've got a, a kid, a couple of kids, they can actually try to be, try a job out. Like they give the kids a, a job that they can do inside, like a, a chef or airline pilot, or there's a bunch of stuff in there. And um, you can make reservations for it uh, online if you, if you search for Kidzania Toyosu. Fam, you, you giggled when you were arguing <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I knew what he was saying it to me, but I'm like, he wasn't, he was just, he, I'm, and I don't want to spend too much time on this because it has nothing to do with, it has to do with the new market that's behind me. But he just think like, he, when you see foreigners face, don't assume that they speak English and don't assume that they don't speak Japanese. So if he just explained it to me in Japanese, then it would have been okay, but I didn't know not to walk there. But he sure had some venom in his, in his Japanese. And then he said that I almost walked into a car. It said, because you're talking to me. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> I walked into a bicycle, sorry. That was funny. Go back and watch the replay. I'm okay. Um, I don't get angry very much. Yeah, Kidzania is really cool. Uh, this did not get very good Google reviews. If you look at the Google reviews, this looks like a cafeteria food lab kind of a thing. I haven't been in there. But this you can see um, on the walk from Toyosu, and you can see there's a runner going by. But this is this is where you would walk if you're coming from Toyosu Station to the to the new fish market. You'd come this way. I, I would recommend you coming this way along the water because it's so much more scenic than coming the way that they probably tell you, which is along the highway, which makes no sense. Loads and loads of construction going on here. Um, just to just to look back here on the city, um, we do have a really hazy sky today. But you can see all those cranes over on the other side of the bridge. That's the Olympic Village that they're still constructing. For those of you who are still watching after almost an hour, bless you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, I do keep these live streams a little bit longer, not just because not just because I'm walking back and naturally. Like I could have ended it 30 minutes ago, but because there's people who are always coming online to want to watch this and I get a lot of comments saying, I just missed the live stream. Well, if I stay on for another 15 minutes, um, those people will not miss the live stream. They're going to be quite happy being able to have caught history. It is, it is kind of historical, you know, to be here. It's pretty historical. Can a bid a chunk of tuna and ship it to the USA? So Johnny Nomadic writes, can you bid on a chunk of tuna and send it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Could that be a side business? Could I go in the morning at 4 a.m. and bid on a tuna, cut it up and freeze, freeze it and then send it to people via like FedEx? I don't know. What's my markup? <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Very cool. Yeah, and we're getting to a place where there's a skateboard park up here. And there's also a barbecue area. Um, it's, it's very nice here. I, I really like the side of the city because it's open and free and you don't feel the confines like the, the, the really crowdedness of the city of Tokyo. It just melts away on this side. Which is another reason to build it. That round building I believe is the, that could be the gas museum. Um, I'm going to tell you the history one more time for those that are joining us. So when, it was in 1997, 1998 that the city of Tokyo was thinking about moving the market from Skiji to somewhere else or whether or not they're renovated. They were discussing this 20 years ago and they made the decision that they could not renovate because it was too hard in 2001. Um, it was just, uh, it would have cost too much and it would have been so much uh, hassle because the building was so old they didn't know what they would do with the auction and all this other stuff so they just left it as, as, as is and they were looking for other sites they decided on Toyosu which was the area of a, uh, a gas processing plant um, I guess it was around 2004 and they, mo they moved the gas processing plant and the gas processing plant did their own assessment of the contaminated ground and said that it was it looked okay but in 2008, after getting those results and not being happy with them, the government of Tokyo found that the ground was contaminated. Then for a while, that news kind of got lost in the shuffle and they were, were gonna open the market anyways until uh, Mayor Koike discovered and saw this information and said, no, no, it's not done yet. We haven't decontaminated anything, not enough. So they spent two years longer um, delaying the opening of it uh, from 2016 to now 2018 and now starting the day after tomorrow on October 13th the new fish market which is now about 300 meters that way will be open to the public and I might be here it's on a Saturday I believe so gonna be very very cool to see all the people from around the world coming here for the first time to see the new market and see the tuna auction the first tuna auction it's gonna be pretty special there in the center of your screen is Lalaport, which is the shopping mall in the area. That's where I'm walking to to take the subway back to the city. But you can see just how open and beautiful it is out here on the river. And this is another reason why, why you might want to make the, the trip out to Toyosu Fish Market. And instead of just um, seeing the fish market, you can make an entire day on this side of the city. This is the bay side. This is the bay zone. This is the harbor zone. I'm not sure how the Tokyo Olympic Committee has had put it, but in 2020, when they have the Olympics, this is one of the two zones. There's the uh, um, like the legacy, the old old area from the 1964 Olympics, and then there's the bay zone, which is all the new places, like right here. This is where they're going to be holding many of the venues, and the Olympic Village, which is over there. There's something going on there. Check it out. Or it could be a zombie apocalypse in there. They found a victim and they're all week taking turns to pounce on people. It's a very weird sight. Very orderly line, lining up in Japan. I don't know. So that, that's sort of the history behind it. Um, and it all comes to fruitation the day after tomorrow. Today is the, the opening of the market. It's not the official opening. So I think they did a tuna auction this morning. So all the public will miss that. But it is pretty cool up here. This is where the skateboarding events are gonna be held on this island, I believe. So, any questions? Not about the zombie picketers above me, which looks like a scene from The Walking Dead. <laughs> it does. It looks pretty creepy. Look at those humans on the bridge behind me. Is that not? That is really creepy, right? Look at them. Jump into the water and go for a swim. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to do that. I think I'd, I'd rather take my chances with the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to end this live stream. Thanks for, for, for joining me. Um, if you want to write in where you're from, it's always a nice nice for the record to see where everyone who's watching is from. It's fun to see. Um, don't write any of the planets, not the seventh planet, the eighth planet. I, can, I, can, I don't know which one it is. That's where I'm from. 
Honolulu, Hawaii, San Diego, San Francisco. Hey, is Skiji worth going to now? Mumbai, Oahu. Uh, Skiji is worth going to. The outer market, if you want to eat fish. The inner market's closed. That's all here. But the outer market's still there, and the history of the outer market is still there, and it's got a pretty cool vibe. Um, they might renovate the area, but I highly recommend if you're in Ginza, go ahead and walk over to Tsukiji and take a look and have some sushi. You can get some really good deals now. It's it's never been it's never been cheaper than now because they're afraid of losing people, so they're just trying to to sell as much as they can. So go to go to the outer market and support them. Uh, from Indonesia, California, Vancouver, wow, Canada, Saskatchewan, Finland, Australia, Melbourne, Queensland. Cool, Malaysia, Philippines, America, Minnesota, from Nihongo, hey, Nihongo Benkyo, England, this is cool, Nagasaki, wow, one of my neighbors from Earth. <laughs> hey, no one's written, uh, oh, Argentina, Denver, Paris, Trekkeris, oh, Trekkeris, I know Trekkeris. Will angry fishmongers be a part of the 2020 Olympic skating events? I don't know. They should have a forklift Olympic event where there's forklift terrorists, uh, t turrets, turrets uh, go through here. I hope not. The angry forklift drivers are scary, man. I was getting something of an adrenaline rush when he was yelling at me because I wanted to yell back. I said, look, nobody puts John Dobb down, okay? I'm going to fight back. That's right. Somebody punches you. Maybe not punch back right away, but you think long and hard and then you punch back. That's right. And maybe your kids are watching here, violence is not the answer. <laughs> it's not. All right. But if, if you have to protect yourself, then it can be the answer. So these tents here, it's part of a barbecue area that you can come to. It's a little bit pricey. But they have these uh, Coleman tents here with barbecues and picnic tables and you can rent one. And it's a pretty awesome uh, afternoon if you do that. Right now there's nobody here because it's still kind of early. But at night a lot of businesses will do little outings. And uh, yeah, have a good old time. The barbecue. And there's your view. I mean, this is a pretty good view, right? You're sitting in the tent having a barbecue and you got a view of the city. It's great for sunsets. The sun sets over the city from this direction. There's different kinds of tents over there. They look like teepees you can get to. It's kind of neat. That's the gas museum, the round building behind us. And uh, this is a Toyosu area. This is what you can expect here. <laughs> you can have barbecued fish, you can. There's a supermarket, by the way, guys. There's a supermarket and lots of stores inside of the Toyosu Lalaport and on the other side. So if you do come for and barbecue here, um, be, be aware, especially on the weekends, you need a reservation for this. Don't try to just come here and, you know, be a hero with your family and go, you know, I'm going to barbecue. You can't barbecue um, anywhere in Tokyo. Uh, open flames are, the police will bust you down. That's why it's reserved in, on the other side of this fence. I was a little kid in the window. So this is a, um, this is like a model house area or the set of the Walking Dead Japan version. This could be the town where, where Rick saves. You can see them in here. It'd be kind of creepy. I want the greenhouse. Everybody gets their own house. Yeah, this is the Alex Ale Alexandria safe zone. <laughs> yeah, look at the big windows. <laughs> That's good. That's, that's right. Very cool. I love I love Toyosu. I wouldn't want to live here, but if there was a zombie apocalypse, maybe you would. It's pretty safe for there's La Laporte. This is a great place to say goodbye. Thanks everybody for watching the live stream. This is fun. This is fun. We got to see we got to see the fish market, get kind of an overview. Um, I started off saying that the most valuable thing in this live stream will be the PDF. Maybe it was my showdown with the fisherman 
and new friends with skateboarders. <laughs> but uh, definitely check out that PDF. And if you come here on the 13th, be prepared for some fun and some crowds because it's gonna be it's gonna be um, the first day of Skiji Market. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be here for that, but if you are, um, send me a message. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I really appreciate the support. This channel passed 100,000 subscribers last week, which is really cool, and I appreciate uh, all the love out there. And if you're coming to Japan, um, I hope that this, this series is useful for you. All right, guys, have a good day, good night. Last 20 seconds overlooking the beautiful panoramic views of Tokyo Bay from the Toyosu side. Have a good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. See you next time on the Only in Japan Go channel. I'm not sure where Space Boat is. Space Boat, Space Boat does come here twice a day. Just not right now. Bye guys.